we want to talk a little bit about coal placement. Uh, our first option that we want to discuss is the direct coal placement where we've actually built our charcoal, we've ignited it, it's ashed over, we've spread it out to get equal heat all the way across the grill surface. One of the things we want to talk to you about on coal placement is we're going to do our indirect where we're going to take our shovel after our, after our coals are ashed over, we're going to move everything to one side. What this method of cooking is called indirect, where we're going to have a hot zone over this grate and we're going to have a cool zone over this grate here. This is going to allow you to do a few different things. If you're cooking, let's say, a big group and you're searing off your steaks and you've got room for 12 steaks on there and you've got 20 people coming over, you can take your steaks as they're done, move them over to the cool side, still keep them up to temp, but not overcook them with the indirect coal option. But one of the things that we also like in the versatility is we want to have our cool zone in the middle so we can actually take our rake and move our coals to both sides where our, where our cool zone is now in the middle. This gives you a lot of different options. You can actually place a cast iron grate in there to catch some of the drippings going off of whatever you're grilling, but it gives you the flexibility to have a bigger cool spot right in the middle and have continual heat on the side. So if you're if you're running a bigger cut of meat that you need a lot more grill, grill grate placement, you can set it right here in the middle and be able to have some uh, heat from your charcoal on both sides. Uh, we've shown you a couple different uh, coal strategies here to be able to spread your fire out. We've got the center indirect, we had the one-sided indirect, and now we're gonna talk about the, in the rotisserie indirect where our rotisserie bracket is on the back side of our, our grill grates here where you can adjust it and we're gonna move our charcoal to the front of the grill to give us an indirect heat source where you don't have to worry about any kind of flare-ups. So we're just going to be taking our coals. You can do this one or two ways. You can use the shovel or you can use the rake. Both of these come with your grill. So now we're moving everything to the front. away from our rotisserie far enough where you're not going to have to worry about flare-ups and with the drop-down drawer you can just scrape everything up move it out of your way and then you can just close your door and that's going to help push all the heat back towards the back and you're going to get a nice a nice heat source over your rotisserie uh, one of the other options that we have with our grill is you can do indirect for the front and the back where your cool zone is right in the middle. Let's say you're cooking a, a nice prime rib roast, you can actually put it right in the middle of your grates and have the heat source going on both sides of it rather than right underneath it. So we're just gonna basically shovel our coal to the back, disperse them as close to evil, even amounts as you can get. Okay. And now your center cool is right in the middle. One of the last cold placement positions that we want to talk to you about is what we call our portrait. You know, so if you're going to do a suckling pig or a big cut of meat on the top, we want to be able to give you heating options from all sides. So basically from the front and the back indirect cooking method, we're just going to be basically moving a few coals to the sides, to both sides, and then leaving the middle exposed again. And this is what we're calling our portrait method, where we've actually picture frame method, where we've got it all the way around 
and the, the indirect is right in the middle. 